welcome to the lecture. So, in this lecture, we are going to study about chemical bonding. So, before introducing what actually chemical bonding is, we must have an idea about what actually a chemical bond is. So, a chemical bond, it is always defined with respect to a molecule bond or a crystal. So, if I have to define a chemical bond, it is defined as a force that holds atoms together in a molecule, compound or a crystal. So, let us take an example. Suppose we have a molecule like this, A, B. Now, this is a bond that is represented by a dash. So, this dash which is called as a bond, it represents the force of attraction, the force that holds the atoms together. The force that holds these atoms together that is actually called a called as a chemical bond. Now we will have we will have a question about why actually molecules they try to combine or why actually molecule atoms they form a bond. So what is the reason that the atoms they form bonds. Now we will look how why atoms we will try to answer answer this question that why atoms they try to form bonds or we can say why atoms they react to form the bonds now let us let us learn this concept as we know that we have in the chemical in the periodic table we have lithium we have in the first uh, first group of elements we have alkali metals like lithium we have sodium we have potassium, we have rubidium, and we have cesium. Similarly, in the p-block elements, we have group 17 element elements. We have fluorine, we have chlorine, we have bromine, we have iodine. Similarly, in the uh, in the noble gas, we have helium, we have neon. We have argon, we have krypton, and we have xenon. Now, if we look at helium, it is having the general the electronic configuration of 1s2. Similarly, for neon, argon, krypton, and xenon, these all possess the general electronic configuration of ns2 and np6. Now, as we already know that helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, they are called as noble gas elements. So why they are called actually as noble gas elements? Because they don't react or we can say that these, these atoms, they even don't form bonds with any other element. So why is the reason that these elements, they don't actually react. So, the reason lies in their electronic configuration. The reason lies in their electronic configuration. Since they possess a stable type of electronic configuration. So, that they possess a stable electronic configuration. Stable electronic configuration. Now, because of stable electronic configuration, these elements they show zero reactivity. They show zero reactivity. So, these elements, because of their stable electronic configuration, they don't form bonds with any other elements. Now, if I look the general electronic configuration for these elements, they possess the general electronic configuration of ns1 so these are similarly if we look at uh, halogens they possess the general electronic configuration of ns2 and np5 now these elements why they react because they try to achieve the same type of electronic configuration which is possessed by these elements so 
if I take the example of sodium, suppose we have sodium. Now, what it will do? It is, it is having electronic configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1. Now, what will sodium do in order to achieve the noble gas electronic configuration? So it will it will what it will do it will lose this 3s1 electron when it will lose this electron it will get a stable type of electronic configuration which is same as that of noble gases elements so that is why the main reason for elements to react is they try to achieve a stable electronic configuration so this is the reason why elements they react now in order for the atoms to try to achieve the noble gas electronic configuration, they form bonds. Now, by attaining the stable electronic configuration, what we what atoms do do? They will either lose electron, or they will gain electron, or they will try to achieve stable electronic configuration by sharing of electrons. So it means on the basis of how atoms try to achieve a stable type of electronic configuration we have divided the bonds into three types we have divided the bonds into three types now these types by losing electron or by gaining electron this type of bonding it is called as ionic bonding it's called as ionic bonding similarly if elements they will try to achieve a stable electronic configuration by sharing of electrons that type of bond bonding that is called as covalent bonding that is called as covalent bonding and there is another type of bond that is called as coordinate bond that is called as coordinate bond and this coordinate bond it is actually a type of covalent bond so we will look these types of bonds a little in deeper in further slides now we have first of all we will look at what ionic bonding is so ionic bonding these are formed when electropositive elements they react with electronegative